inside your organizations you have a lot of people that are emerging leaders you know they might they might have moved up as a technician or a specialist in their field then they become um, you know a manager for the first time and then then the next minute they're a leader and they go into a leadership role and most of the time they're not trained for it right they're trained as a specialist and they get thrown in and we've all seen them and and a lot of them try too hard and they become very micromanaging so this program here is for them but it's also for those that are already established leaders who might be very relentless in their approach you know there might be those high achievers but they they might also be a little bit ruthless and reckless sometimes we want to try and keep them yes they can be relentless but we want to be keep away from that ruthless and reckless space so we look at the mindset of leaders for both emerging and established senior leaders as well and i think what's important in here is once you get the mindset right the leadership takes care of itself but what i'm going to do i'm just going to dive into just a small area of this now because yes we will you know in the program we look at confidence and the belief and the agility to thrive as well as how you manage and utilize pressure but most importantly leadership is around energy management it's the heart and soul of anything of everything when it comes to leadership how do you manage your own energy so that you can sustain a high level of performance how can you manage the energy of the room the energy of each individual and obviously that starts with things like your 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 nutrition how whether you exercise the way you uh, recover with purpose and you free your mind. Yes, they're kind of the foundations, but what are the other mental strategies? So I'm just gonna show you just a brief one here because this is really, really important when it comes to uh, leadership. Now, what we know when it comes to leadership is those in the room that have kind of that gravitas, who have the, the power, so to speak. I don't really like the word power, but it's it's kind of they the, they have the influence of the room people can feel it that influence so what is unique about them and i'm not going to reveal it straight away but i'm going to show you what is the first strategy of being able to get to that spot so it's all about breathing now you've heard lots of breathing and and people talk about breathing lots but there's a couple of key things here if you're high breathing up in your chest okay you have low authority and low kind of trust and it kind of sounds a bit forced but as soon as you lower your breath deep into your diaphragm you then get high trust and high authority you know people ask me quite a lot how do you manage to stay so calm and so relaxed under pressure how do you make me feel calm and it all comes down to breathing and i've been doing this like i was very fortunate to be a swimmer when i was young so we spend lots of time going up and down the pool and, and as a triathlete it's very methodical and metronome like so your your rhythms are all based on breathing and how you can slow it down so that's kind of a key part but the breath controls your heart rate and the most important people in the room the the, the ones who can control a conversation the ones who can have the greatest influence have the lowest heart rates in the room. So how do you lower your pulse? Now this can come from, now this all starts from your breathing, right? If you take a breath in, so if you exhale really fast, it'll speed up your heart rate. If you inhale quickly and fast, you will actually start, and then a slow um, exhale, you will actually start to slow your breath down. So you can control it. But then what is the result of having a lower heart rate? Well, now you get to control the energy in the room. You're a lot, a lot more calm and relaxed, which will then feed on and flow onto other people. So it's that breath, control your breathing to lower your pulse, and then to control and manage the energy of the room. So that's just a quick insight into one of the kind of frameworks of that leadership performance mindset.